Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Well-known medical doctor Jeff DeFord is scheduled to be sentenced on October 27 on corruption charges. Ford was convicted last week on two counts of attempting to pervert the course of justice after attempting to bribe a cop to release two Surinamese men and more than half a million U.S. dollars. The National Water Commission has advised that service to some St. Andrew communities will be affected this week as it conducts maintenance works along its pipeline network. Perkins Boulevard, Woodford Road, Norbrook, Chancery Hall and surrounding areas will be affected. Prominent medical doctor Shane Alexis is to represent the PNP in the St. Mary South East by-election to fill the seat left vacant by the death of Dr. Winston Green. Former parliamentarians Damian Crawford and Raymond Price, who were being considered by some party supporters, have both turned down the invitations. The police say one of Westmoreland's most wanted men who was arrested in the Cayman Islands on Friday is to be extradited to Jamaica to face charges. 29-year-old O'Brien Ellis of Farmpen District in Westmoreland was charged in the Cayman Islands with illegal landing and possession of ganja with intent to supply. In sports, two of Jamaica's most respected voices in track and field, analyst Laurie Foster and Olympic silver medalist Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, believe that the J3As must do more to manage the conduct of coaches and athletes on national duties overseas. In your weather forecast, on Wednesday morning there will be isolated showers across eastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms across mainly central and western parishes. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.